In order to show your organizational content, you have to store it somewhere. So I'm going to store it here in this document library. I'll make a new folder because you have to have a folder. That's a requirement. So I'll go ahead and make it. Doesn't matter where you make the folder, what you call it. But in that folder, which I'm calling training content, I'm going to drag my files that I want to show in Viva Learning. So I have PowerPoint, MP4 files, Excel sheet, Word document, all that kind of stuff, which is what I'm doing right now. There's eight items all together, which is going to upload. Okay, now it's done uploading 38.7 megabytes of content. Then you go into admin. You need to be the Office 365 admin to do this. And then from here, you're going to go to settings, org settings. Within org settings, I'm going to look for Viva Learning, which because it begins with a V, it's always going to be at the bottom. I'll go into Viva Learning. In here, there's a checkbox for SharePoint. You check that checkbox. Here is asking simply for a URL where you want it to make a learning app repository. So I want to take the same site that I have. I don't have to take the same site, but I'm going to do that in this case. And I'm going to say, go ahead and make that list here, which is going to be the pointer for my learning. I'll save it. Keep in mind, once again, it doesn't have to be the same site where the content is stored, but that's what I'm doing right now. It's saved. I'm done. Now I go back to my site where I just uh, pointed Viva Learning to. In here, I'm going to go to Site Contents, and this Learning App Content Repository list was created by Viva Learning. When you go into it, this is where you put a row pointing to the content where the uh, your Viva Learning content will be stored. So, as you remember, I'm gonna I have made I have put that content in the Documents Library under Training Content. So I'm going here, and I'm grabbing the link for that particular folder. It has to be the folder. So I'll grab that content, copy that here, yeah. And now I'm gonna go back. And here I need to make a new row. Okay, so a new row, the title is arbitrary. I'm gonna call it HR library. And the folder URL is gonna be the one that I had copied, the whole folder, and then click on save. Here you go, it's been saved. Back in the library where my content is stored, I had to make some changes over here to get a description column where I can add the actual description. Let me just show you what I did. There's already a description column that exists in every library. I had to actually go into library settings and then from here, go to the actual column, which was here before. This is a new one, but the original one, I had to go into it and then I had to delete it. Yep, I had to delete that column. And then I made a new description column and that had to be a single line of text with uh, no, other, uh, no other setting need to be set, but just that. Once I did that, then I was able to go into the actual library and add content. That content here, you can just go to grid view and add content. But if you don't do that, and you try to use the description column that's built in, it won't let you use it because that's read-only. So please remember that. That's a workaround, unfortunately, for not being able to use the existing description column. You have to do it this way. When you come to Viva Learning within Teams and you go down to Courses, now the providers does show Kentoso, which it's automatically pulling as the name of my organization and it's showing me tiles that pertain to that content that is in the library training content in SharePoint. All that content here is here. Keep in mind that this content might take up to a day for it to show up here. And I click on see all to show me the content and the descriptions and everything here. And it's all searchable as well. So if I do a search for a word certificate There you go, the Employee Award Certificate, which is a PowerPoint, which is right here, does show up in searches as well. Doesn't let me control the thumbnails. Nothing I can do about that. Can't change the uh, name of the organization here either. That's automatic. Not much other customization options. It is what it is. 
and uh, that's what I get with just a row of information showing my content, which is going to show up in a second. Here it is for my Contoso Corporation, along with other content that I have access to. So that's how it works.